Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the After Nine show. Good after nine, I guess maybe I should be saying. Still morning. Is it still morning? Good morning. Welcome to the After Nine show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, we are excited to be here today. It is um, August 11th, which is mind blowing to me. 2024. And today was our Trust in the Lord series. You know, that's our theme for this year. And once a month we do a topic where we talk about trusting in the Lord. And today was on the conversation of rubbernecker. Now, Pastor Brian, were you taught what this phrase was? Like, did you know what this phrase was? Well, or did I think, you say today, I wonder what that phrase means? No, actually, I kind of know what it was, but I think that's a generational thing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of one of those buzz buzz terms that we use, yeah. like sick. Yeah. You know? My dad, my dad told me this phrase, so I, I was educated from him. Well, there you go. But um, raise them up, right? Yeah, you know, and it, Pastor Brian kind of touched on it today, and how frustrating it is when you are driving. I always, I always find myself in these situations on EC Row. I don't know if you take EC Row as much as I do. You, well, you're from Pro the Essex, so you, you probably frequent not that much, but Highway yeah. Three more than EC Row. I probably. definitely know what it's like on EC Row, though. But I, I'm driving and everything's great, and then all of a sudden there's just a dead stop, like Pastor Brian said, and it's just so frustrating. And it makes no sense. And it makes no sense. And I say, why? And then you see a, a little fender bender situation, and everybody just has to look, you know? So I always say to my, my roommate, she'll drive with me i'll say okay describe it to me yeah. <laughs> because, Take because i never want to be the person that is like driving and you know because then i just think that you're just walking into an accident but i always tell her ali describe it to me tell me everything but um no i thought today was really interesting was there anything that you got out specifically today pastor brian well there's 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 a lot of hidden messages within that message yeah. um and i think uh when i think about the pillar of salt and uh you know, Lot's wife was literally turned into a pillar of salt. And the whole concept of what brought that on was looking back yeah. and desiring her past lifestyle. Uh, I can kind of relate a uh, pillar of salt to hardening of our hearts. And when we're longing for something in the past, we're not moving forward. And, uh, you know, we kind of touched on this in the pre-show. Mm -hmm. Without faith, it's obviously impossible to please God. But... When we're looking back, are we really exercising our faith for the things hoped for, yeah. you know, those things unseen? I think we're looking at the things seen and probably trying to remember them rather than God. And what's interesting, uh, she, they talk exquisitely about pride as well, exclusively, sorry. Yeah. They brought that in at the end there. Yeah. And um, you know that we're meant to glorify God. Yeah. That's our purpose on yes. this earth. And the thing about pride is it's self-glorifying. Oh, that's good. And when we're self-glorifying, we're worshiping a God other than God, which now opens the door to the Father lies. Yep. And uh, we wonder why we have issues and things are happening that doesn't don't necessarily make sense. But when right. we're not partnering with God, who are we partnering with? And then one other thing, I'll leave you with no, this. No, you're doing great. I'm, I'm going to leave off. I, I, I could go. You got this. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> but what's interesting is they said, uh, you know, we're, we're not growing uh, or we're going backwards. And yeah. I think one of the greatest lies that we can put it in neutral and coast because mm -hmm. uh, we can't. Yeah. We're either moving forward in the ways of God or we're moving backwards. That's right. There is no neutral state when yeah. it comes to the spiritual That's right. realm, right? So those are just some of the I like that. I those are good little nuggets. You know, something that stood out to me was Pastor Sherry was talking about the urgency of everything and how it said, get up and get out. You know, he said mm -hmm. that. And then yeah. Lot's son-in-law thought it was a joke, right? Was that? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, I, I was trying to think about, I always like to put myself in the person situation that things have happened to. So I would like to try to put myself in Lot's wife's shoes. And imagine you get this word from the Lord and it says, don't turn around, do not look back. And you're running away from what you would once called home. And I can only imagine what it sounded like, yeah. right? And to, to have this word that specifically said, don't turn around, but you know, like, I like to think about it at youth group or something. If, if, if I say something to someone like, hey, don't lean on a chair. And then I look over and two seconds later, Jordan is going to push back. I'm like, Jordan, 
I just said to Vincent not to lean on a chair. And he's like, oh, sorry. Like I was just instinctual, you know, because I like to lean on chairs. But I was thinking about Lot's wife and maybe it was just like a something startled her and she turned around. But the fact of the matter is she still ended up looking back. And I think that sometimes God gives us warnings. God gives us words and things that we need to take a lot more seriously. Well, I a think, lot more I seriously. think that's, that's exactly <laughs> what happened with Israel. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, we talked about that in last week's message. How did they spend, yeah. you know, 40 years in a, on an 11 year, 11, 11 day, day journey. journey? Yeah. And what God said was, uh, do not fear, go and take the land. That's right. Right. And I, I think when they moved, uh, when he moved, you know, Lot out, it was not necessarily because of Lot. It was because of Abraham's intercession yeah. that swayed God to say, okay, I'll spare his family. Yes. We'll move him out. Yep. And he even sent two angels, basically, yep. to go and, and make sure that happened. But I think, you know, I start out the show saying I can't understand why, um, the, the pre-show, sorry. Yeah. The, uh, I couldn't understand why Lot's wife would want to look back. And I really think it boils down, you know, God kind of answers it. It's like we're so afraid of the future yeah. that we want to just stay in the past a lot of times. And that's disobedience. That's right. Right? And... I, I believe in our mind of mind, we think that when we're being moved from current state to future state, that yeah. we're being punished in the back of our minds. Yeah. Somewhere there's this inner belief that God's taking something away. Yeah. God's not taking something away. God's promoting us to something better. That's right. But we can't grasp that. And it really does boil down to a lack of trust. I think, I think you're right on that, Pastor Brian, too. And, you know, I, I think that like for me specifically uh, right now, I feel like I've been walking in a state where a lot of things have been coming to conclusion. And sometimes that feels a little heavy mm -hmm. because an end to anything is, is still an end, right? But I like, I like what you said there, Pastor Brian, about how God, God's action and this transition is actually a promotion for us. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, for us, sometimes it might feel more yeah. like a demotion. But knowing that we stand and like we say this for all year, we've been saying this, that trusting in the Lord is our is our declaration for this year. And that's what we're going to lean on. Do you have any closing thoughts? We're almost well, uh, at the just, tail end. Just that here. whole thought about trusting and, and leaving the past behind. I think there's yeah. a process of it's almost like a grieving process where we feel yeah. a loss yeah. or, you know, because it's the known for the unknown that's right and uh i think our mindset is to just remain in a comfortable state yeah and it's not necessarily a better state right but it might be more common or might be comfortable to yeah, us yeah exactly that's my but that's god it. doesn't want us to be comfortable no nope. <laughs> actually because <laughs> remember you're either moving forward or you're moving backwards you can't you can't just plateau that's right and that's that and you know what that's that's our time pastor brian can you believe it well i can hardly believe it you, well, did, you did talk quite a bit. So. I, yeah, I know. I'm long-winded. I get that a lot. <laughs> well, we wish you the best Sunday of your life. Um, we will be seeing you tomorrow at the Lighthouse at 6.30. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions or if you want to get connected to I-9 or you want to talk to someone here, please let us know. We'd be happy to converse, con converse with you. You can reach out to us on Facebook, on Instagram. You can email us, info at i9church.com. We will get it. And we will be happy to reach out to you. But we wish you the best Sunday of your life. And until then, what do we have to remind them, Pastor Brian? We have Brian? to light the passion within you. Light the passion within you. Have the best day of your life. We'll see you tomorrow night at 630.